Round two in the struggle between South Africa's police chief and the search to uncover the truth about Marikana. Evidence leaders landed the first blow with a statement from a police officer who was there during the shooting. Warrant officer Maibo came across three injured men at the small kopi and briefly turned his back on them. I suddenly heard a gunshot behind me as I turned. I saw an NIU constable who is unknown to me putting his side firearm in his leg holster. I asked the NIU constable what is going on. He replied by saying they deserve to die and he moved away. Piecha took this in her stride. She said she'd ordered her commanders to look into it, but that the police officer in question could not be identified. She conceded, however, that with some investigation he could have been identified. Piecha was also questioned about a media statement she made a day after the killing, where she told South Africa and the world police had no choice but to use maximum force. But advocate Midlanga argued that she rushed to absolve the police from any wrongdoing without considering other versions. He asked her to consider Warrant Officer Myberg's statement. Would you still continue to hold the view that in respect of all the people that the police fired shots at they did so in self-defense. Given the sensitivity, the gravity of this matter, and what it means to all of us, I would be very, very cautious to answer such a question on presuppositions. Piecha admitted at the media briefing she was merely relating what her officers on the ground had told her. She had not sought corroboration. Valdi Karosa, SABC News.